So, I went out and got five gallons of premium and put it in there and it reads exactly a quarter tank. Woohoo! So, sending unit and all that crap works. Yay, another thing down. So, what am I going to do next? I uh, think I'm going to tear apart my dashboard because my turn indicators aren't working and I have the feeling it's in here but uh, yeah I hate taking apart my dash but I've already done it like five times so far so blast cabinet has a little bit of light anyway these bulbs that I just had on hand are 60 watt so that's probably not going to be bright enough but I think that's the uh, thing that's going to determine how much visibility I have is how well I can clear out the fog, all the dust. So, um, here, let's look on this side. So I've got my shop vac tube stuck in through this ventilation hole just happens to be just the right size so I'm gonna sacrifice that cut it off maybe so right now it would be drawing all the dust up here I kind of like it to draw the dust away from the lights over there and have the clean air input over here so like under my window oh and I should uh, say I've been kind of rough with this so just to basically trying to see how much it would take to break that <laughs> glass that's how much it takes to break it so okay uh, glass is broken there's my replacement <laughs> quarter inch thick plexi so still have to have it get up plastic cover for that so anyway I'm glad to be done with that drama and so I can swap that in see how it fits so but anyway problem solved for lighting working on the the vacuum uh, and the inlet so out go inlet and then getting some kind of a uh, media sump that will work for this because this angle is too shallow. Probably got to cut all this crap out. Yeah. All right, the bottom is all lined out. Going to do some cutting so that I can do a, a, a steeper hopper. I'm hopping for that anyway. Hop, hop. It's a little better. So, yeah, lights. So, yeah, that's kind of deep, kind of big, but, you know, maybe I could fill that in with stuff, put a bowl in there, expanded foam, something. So, anyway, cut the, the bottom out, got that bin in. It's going to need some interface here, like maybe a uh, piece of plywood or whatever to seal between this and that. But the fit, the... Uh, you know, fits pretty good other than, you know, the little bit of overlap. Oh, uh, what else did I do? Actually, I think I just did that. Cut that out. And, oh yeah, cut the, uh, the bottom feet off because they were just getting in the way of setting up a hopper. So, hence that. So I am going to build some legs for this thing to sit on. Um, I'll try to be clever about that so that I can, well, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Right now, it's kind of wibbly wobbly. Not, not too bad. But if I want to open the door, then it makes it, you know, heavy this way and it's going to want to fall this way. But the hinge is clear. Clear my hopper. So that's still good. Work in progress. All right, glass is replaced by plexiglass. It's uh, actually a much better fit 
for the uh, the thickness of the um, the routing I had done between well let's see between this piece that goes on the outside and the inside piece so it's pinched between here and there and the other glass the glass wasn't a good fit so anyway um, the outside doesn't have the protective plastic on it that's the plastic that's on the inside there is from the store that's not going to last very long so I gotta figure out something for that but back up here the problem solved right now are the lighting the plexiglass and the hopper I do have to make a plywood interface between the dishwasher and the hopper because I've got a gap and also I am working on how to do the uh, the vacuum so the shop vac will be here and a hole somewhat this size will be in the plywood over there so the idea being well that's the uh, pressure release on my compressor I want fresh air over here so maybe I'll put a uh, uh, inlet for the vacuum over here so fresh air will be coming between the window and the work going out that way that's the theory so anyway yeah 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 all right, so this is going to be my interface board between the blaster and the hopper. I've got my holes drilled for my jigsaw, so I'm going to cut that out and we'll see how that goes. I don't know if you guys have had this kind of problem, but every box of nitrile gloves I get from Harbor Freight, they're all lefts. What the hell is up with that? That's, that's why I'm working so slow in the car. It's because I have to use one hand. So, I, I don't know. I'm going to look online see if I can find right-handed gloves to go with the seven boxes of lefts I got.